All right, so take two of the load bank. And as you can see, I've already run it up once just to see how she went. Uh, so I've got our battery here and we've got it hooked up to the iCharger X6 uh, just via some alligator clips and we also have the balance lead hooked up. Um, the load bank itself is just hooked up through the positive line, resistors in parallel, okay, so through the pos, through here, then back up into the iCharger. Um, you need a certain amount of resistance on here, basically you need point, I think I calculated it to be 0.14 of an ohm to get our 30 amps discharge. Um, that should be just seven, um, seven of these suckers, however, I've got eight on there now and still not quite getting there, uh, so I need to do a bit of play around with the calculations. All right, so we're just gonna run that discharge again, just so you can see it. Now let's see how high up we get. So 9, 10, 11, 15, 24, 27, 28, and then we go 29. So we're sitting flush on 29 amp discharge there. And what we're gonna notice is these are gonna get hot. Now they were already pretty hot to touch, um, 58 degrees, and we'll see this uh, climb. 46 down, 50, 50 down this end. So we'll give it a minute or two. Uh, the cabling isn't doing too bad. Uh, it's not really getting, yeah, it's a little tiny bit warm here, but nowhere near as hot as uh, with these resistors. And it looks like the first couple are actually copping the brunt. Uh, what do we got? If we can hold it still. 69 degrees, yeah, 65, all the way down. Sort of looking, what, 56, 60. Oh, interesting. Might have to look at it. One or two of these solder connections to see how good they are. All right, it's dropped down a bit, 28.95, but happy with that. So if I can get some active cooling on here, get some fans, uh, we should be all right to start our discharge of um, discharge test of all their banks.